he was sent by Louis XIV to study the English dance. And then he went back to bring it back to show the king what he had learned about the latest stuff from England. And he, so he, he made a little manuscript and he has several dances and they're all dedicated to members of the court with very, very appropriate uh, dances selected for them. Christ church bells for the king, of course, to flatter the king and all this, and this sort of stuff. And he taught, he, he apparently taught these dances to the court. He also put in a couple of his own dances, which were not progressive. These, the, the dances that he taught, that he brought from England, were definitely the progressive dances. So he introduced the court to the English country dance, progressive and these are dance. All long ways they are long ways dances, the way we do, say, Christchurch Bells, yeah. which is in his second manuscript. So we know that the court learned how to do from Lorrain. I think the court quickly forgot, or they just decided this wasn't going to be much fun because you don't see any more evidence. There are French books which carry some of the um, English country dance titles in them. So the English country dances were being done. Uh, Jean Quisseau, well, the ones that are in Feuillet, Jean Quisseau, Lily Bolero, a few of the others that, that Longrain brought over uh, did seem to be uh, available in Europe. And they do show up in manuscripts, the tunes. You can find the tunes. You won't find the dances, but you can find the tunes. And then in, in the Feuillet book in 1700, I think, um, he's got a whole bunch of English country dances. So I shouldn't say the French forgot about them. The French did continue to do the English country dance, the long ways English country dance. But I don't think it took particularly because it didn't last into the 18th century. This was all between, uh, Lorraine went over in 1688, in 1685. He, pub he gave his book to the king in 86, 87, 88 pieces. So um, there was evidently an interest in what was going on in England in dance, in Europe, and in France, and in and other countries too, I believe. Uh, beginning in 1700, we do have these wonderful balls, uh, ball dances by Pecor and, and, uh, and the other dancing masters that are all choreographed, completely choreographed. We do know from what was going on in the court uh, with Louis XIV that they were doing completely choreographed ballets absolutely incredible ballets. They were doing brawls, they were doing courants, they were doing a lot of the old, old dances from the 17th, the 17th century social dances. But they were, they were very hierarchical and, and, and the king, the idea of the king standing second to anybody in a court is not going to happen. So I don't, you know, the, obviously the country dances didn't stick because he would not, Louis XIV would have not been a second couple.